So we have come today to Lawrenceburg, Indiana. We've come, uh, it's about 40 minute drive from where we were in Indian Lakes. This place, it's a trail that goes from Lawrenceburg to Aurora. It follows the Ohio River. We found it on all trails. We also heard a recommendation from somebody that was in our campground that actually did this the other day. They thoroughly enjoyed it. So we figured, hey, let's take a Saturday. We actually have a day to do something that we wanna do. Let's go take a ride and, and check it out. We got here and it is actually free parking. There's a parking garage right at the very end where the trails start and it's completely free. So good start to the day and it's tall enough for a dually. That's the important thing. As I was looking at the sign, uh, we opened the sunroof and kind of looked. It's you got a couple feet of clearance. So taller trucks. I don't. If you had a lift, I'd be worried. But stock dually Ram 3500, at least ours, works pretty good. You're gonna have to put that one in the tank. I'll get this one. <laughs> then hold on a second. Don't move. All right. So we picked this bag up at REI. Awesome, awesome bag. It's on Amazon as well. This thing is large enough to carry everything. The camera that she's using to record right now actually will go in this middle compartment. I have everything. I have my drone remote, extra batteries, another lens, a GoPro mount. I've got the drone on the back. I've got my switch pod here, uh, keys. And then the cool thing about this bag is that it actually has saddlebags that come off both sides so you can you can take even more i thought it was pretty awesome very sweet and then it also has velcro straps well this is for a water bottle but we use it for the drone yeah the drone fits perfect it does there get through draining. and then it has straps that strap to the the existing rack on the back of our bikes the of the bike, and then the one on the front to keep it from sliding uh forward and backwards but if you don't already have a rack they sell a, the same model that has a rack system and then that one you can actually just like clip yeah it clips in and clips it's out a lot easier it actually sounds like it'd be a little bit easier than what we have to do right but this this works great because it, it expands up like this and it leaves plenty of room for the microphone on top of the camera yeah so if we didn't have the microphone this piece would actually collapse like a luggage bag of right this, this part right here it, it has a little zipper right here yeah and then it also comes with a shoulder strap so i can just take this right off the bike when we get to like a little town or a store or something, I can take it right off the bike and just carry it around with me. I think we're ready. Pretty sweet. All right, we just got to put everything on the bike. Got the keys. Just here. So it's got the front straps that go bar, so it stops it from sliding. So it just goes in here, hooks onto that, and then goes back. So now I got a. A very secure bag on my bike. It's a YouTuber's uh, dream bag for biking. It holds everything. All right. Ready? We have made it to the other side of the Dearborn Trail. Took some GoPro footage all the way down the trail. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful trail, fully paved. I think it'd be perfect for even people that are handicapped with like wheelchairs and scooters and stuff. There are a couple of inclines and declines. Yeah, the bridges yeah, going up, going up to up the over. bridges. And then you cross over a railroad track. So you gotta be careful there. And then it goes decline after the railroads. But other than that, it is completely flat, all paved at the, one end is the historical district of Lawrenceburg. Lawrence, 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 Lawrenceburg. Lawrenceburg. And now we're in Aurora. Yeah, now we're in Aurora. We stopped at the dog park area just to check it out. And they have this beautiful gazebo and some bitches to sit at. And remembering Amy Irons Meyer, truly dog's best friend. Yes. There's yes. a dog park. Yep, dedicated it, to her so that's yep. really that's really nice and then on the dog park wall is the giving wall so you can leave things for other people i was um, actually going to mention that too because you find the coolest things when you're out exploring yes the fact that they have a giving wall where you can just walk up and clip things to it for people in need and there's a cvs like a pharmacy that's kind of right adjacent to us and you know just to be able to go over there and grab a few things and then come pin it on the wall is, is pretty cool go do that? i think we should 
Did you get some good stuff? Huh? Did you get some good stuff? Mouthwash, antibacterial hand soap, hand sanitizer, some deodorant, travel kit of toothpaste and a toothbrush. Got some good stuff, non-perishable stuff that we can add, and then a box of baggies. I hope somebody gets some use out of it. Hope somebody gets to use it that needs it. It's pretty cool to be able to give back like that. Yeah, I think every dog park should have that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been a beautiful trail. Great. Uh, a great ride. It, it only took really, what, an hour? Maybe an hour to get over here. And we were cruising at like less than 10 miles an hour. You know, you may, if you want a long ride, you may be doing a couple laps. <laughs> or go from beginning to end. So we didn't make it to the beginning of the trail. We parked a little bit farther. Um, we, we parked in Lawrenceburg. It starts in um, a different county. Right. And then it goes a little bit farther in Aurora, according to the map. We could have added more mileage to it. It was right at three and a half miles. We're on the Ohio River. It yes. just follows along the Ohio River. Yep, so we got different views of that, some bridges, some tunnels. You do have to dismount your bike to go through the tunnels and across the roads. Beautiful ride, just beautiful ride. <laughs> it started, it started raining on us while we were on our way back. It was a uh, cold rain. It was cold. It was kind of refreshing though. Felt good. Changed my shirt because it was wet. <laughs> yeah, but we're now we're going to. There's a little Riverside Bar and Grill that we're going to go check out because we're hungry. If they're open. They were open. I saw the sign. I looked. There's the restaurant. I had the blackened mahi-mahi with uh, french fries that had some really good seasoning on it and Cajun mayo. It was really good. I ate it all. I'm so full. Pretty cool. It goes up and down on those little beams if, it, if the river raises. Yeah, basically the restaurant's on a barge. Uh, and then that way if the river rises, the restaurant can come up with it. It's crazy that the water gets all the way up there. All the way up those there Those levee walls clock. will close. Yep. I like my little day trips with you. Yeah. Really enjoy it. We'd bring the kids along too if we had extra bikes for them, but it's also nice to get away. Parent time. Very important to have parent time. I agree. Completely. Instead of doing date nights, we just do day day trips. Yeah.